name is Tahiri Zaman Moni from Grade 11A, here to represent all of the outstanding individuals joining us here today. To start off, I have been a student at Panya Sastra International School ever since I was in seventh grade and have continued studying here for nearly four years. Ever since the entire world has fallen into a state of pandemic, students and teachers have no choice but to adapt to the online system. But as always, everything has its pros and cons. For my case, studying online has been a struggle for me to mentally stay focused throughout each classes. I have to withstand and deal with countless issues, just like the rest of the students and teachers. This includes internet problems or electricity limitations or device malfunctions, etc. However, when a problem arises, it does not make sense to do nothing. And as a solution to that, I have decided to do things one by one. Mainly build my own time frame and try to complete each task on time and independently studying during my extra hours. Since online class has started, students have been bombarded with lessons and the never ending flow of lessons or schoolwork. And this has caused many students to lose track in studying and tire them out more than usual. While working hard to stay productive, being at home has this whole new environment set up that causes the student to, it, it makes it harder for a student to stay focused in contrast to studying at school. That's why the main key in getting through this new learning style is discipline. With discipline, I have been somehow able to push through. Along with that, thanks to my fellow classmates and teachers, me and the many students here and also other students have been able to push through and successfully acclaim outstanding results and stay on top of their games despite these two nearly three rough years of online learning. If I were being honest, I'm quite disappointed with my result as it has fell far from the expectation and standard I have set for myself. But I believe there's always a chance for me to redeem and do better. And I think that everyone has worked really hard just to get to where they are. And that's why I'd like to especially say thanks and congratulations to the students getting award today. For those students who are unable to join this awarding ceremony and those who wasn't or weren't able to get to the top five for this first semester or students who did not get good results. Here's a special message for you. Just because you're not getting a certificate today or just because you did not get the result that you expected, it does not make you any less of a student. It does not deem you as a failure, nor does it define you. Your hard work and efforts will always be appreciated and I strongly believe that you have more than just enough time to be successful. Take things slow and do it your own pace. Through all of the pressure that people put on you and all of the things that they bring you down, like when they try to bring you down or compare you to other people, it's your life and your time and your future. You don't always have to care about their opinions, whether or not people tell you that you're good enough. You're your own person and in whatever you do, just make sure that you don't lose hope. For this, to all of the seniors in grade 12 who will be taking their national exams, graduating and entering university, it has been especially hard for you to maintain your flow of study. The pressure and stress and all of the negativity around you and the online education system has also, of course, affected your way of learning, causing many people to lose track and of their focus on their studies. Even if it's going to be one hell of a riot towards the end of high school, you just have to keep going. Those students who are giving it their all and barely surviving mentally and physically, you're awesome. Your hard work will pay off in the future. And for those who aren't, good luck. I hope you end up where you want to be in life. Uh, on this note, thank you to all of the teachers and staff Mainly everyone pushing through just to survive this pandemic and just trying to live even though it's not easy. I respect and I wish for everyone's happiness and well-being. Once again, congratulations and thank you.